Hey everyone, my name is Max Phelan, CEO and co-founder of Cubius Incorporated uh, with WowCube. So Max, WowCube is interesting because when I first heard about this product, I thought like World of Warcraft, like, oh, it's a World of Warcraft add-on because it's called the WowCube, but it's not. It's actually a electronic device that is a t that plays really interesting and unique games. So talk about your product a little bit. Absolutely. So here it is. I have several samples, uh, engineering samples in my hands and my work table. Uh, the device that uh, looks like a Rubik's Cube 2x2, two two, but instead of being solid color, it's covered with 24 high resolution screens. So uh, this is the device that you can play acting in both physical and virtual reality. It's physical by twisting, shaking and tilting, and you see the objects going from one screen to another while you play. Uh, we have many games already uh, pre-installed in the queue. We have the application for the smartphone, so you can download more. We have SDK we created ourselves, uh, so you can make that, that the independent developers can make their own games, upload to our store, they can download the um, software emulator of the queue and make their own games. So let me show you several samples of what it can. Um, Let's start from the very simple, uh, one of the first game called Butterflies. I know, do, do you see the picture? Yeah, I see the butterflies, oh, yeah, and I see Here's the butterflies. If I started, I just tap the icon, I started the game. This is a very simple example of the logical game where you need to find the wings of the butterflies and to assemble them. Okay, the first level is very easy, of course. Just one butterfly, assemble them to one, and it goes to life, and you see the score, how many moves you make, how much time you spend, etc., etc. If you sweep, twist it one more time, you will have two butterflies, which is obviously a little bit more difficult, and so on and so on. So uh, this device is bright, nice, and interesting as a video games, and at the same time developing your cognitive and motor to brain skills as a classical puzzles. Like we say, if you take away the smartphone from your kid, what should you give instead? Uh, you give this device that the same interesting and develop it. And it's designed to hold it far from the eyes, on the arm's distance, uh, and always think in three dimensions. That was the logical game. We also have more, say, arcade-like games. Then here's the Ladybug. I, uh, let me start the Ladybug game. Here we have the small bug that goes on the path around the cube, so your battleground is entire surface. But you physically need to change the geometry of the screens and build the path for the for the bug, which is became faster and faster with time. Let me show you. Here's the bug. It's very slow in the beginning. And let me think, it will go here and here it will stop. So I need to put something here. Say I want to put this. Okay, now we have this path. Uh, it was a mistake. Uh, I shouldn't put this because this is the poison. It doesn't matter. I, I bet you got the point. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, it becomes faster and faster and faster. So we have arcade games, we have puzzle games, we have logical games, but when you're not playing, it's not just for gaming. If I shake it, it goes back to why I'm shaking. Then I shake, it goes back to the main menu. So while you're not playing it, you put it on a charging dock station that goes with, you have it in the box and you can launch uh, widgets, you can use each of these screens as you want. So it's 24 screens on your table showing you, see, the temperature, family photos, I don't know, Tesla stock, what's interesting for you. You, you, can, you can tune it yourself using the app from the smartphone. Uh, it, also became, it also can be a night lab as an element, element of decor. If your child is afraid to sleep in dark, you start the um, lava lamp application it, it can choose different when it twist it choose different shapes it's like the additional your nice stand if each other for to sleep in dark we even have the concept of the game where the digital fish lives inside the cube like an aquarium and you can tap by tapping you feel the fish etc etc so this is a multi-purpose device not only for gaming but also for a kind of element of the we call it a platform for creativity. So 
I'm curious to know, so is this, everything is located inside the cube, like it's processor, CPU, or is the, does it sync to your phone? Does your phone do all the work? Uh, basically, this is a standalone device, and I will show you some magic right now to blow your mind. Let me show you. I'm starting the, uh, the, the game called Pong. In this game, you need to roll the ball all around the surface of the cube. You see this ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, hold on tight. It still continue working because all those modules are absolutely autonomous and I can use, no, it doesn't matter which of them I will take. This or this, I can, I don't see the picture from that side, but I hope I'm doing everything correct. Yeah, and now the ball is here, you see? That's so, great, so does each of them have so where where are all the components located? Each each one of the cubes is its own this, this power is supply and CPU absolutely. or CPU power supply, uh, PCBA, three screens, uh, speaker. So we have eight speakers in all cube together. Uh, it's it's absolutely. Actually, we create not only hardware, we create the operation system that supports integrity of those modules. So it means that it doesn't matter four by four, two by two, or even as a snake shape. Theoretically, it can be any, any geometry of the device. This is like the operation system for the toys. Um, like so someone called it video Lego. <laughs> so it's a complete custom OS. It's not like a, a, a highly modified version of Android. It's your own no, operating system. No, no, from the scratch. Absolutely oh, wow. from the scratch. The, the whole operation, because our founder and inventor of this cube uh, actually, the, the idea belongs to his son, uh, Sava Osipov. In 2016, he, he came up with the idea, what if to put characters on the surface of the Rubik's Cube? But uh, uh, his father, computer scientist, he thought it's, it's a great idea. He saw the potential and he he's a very talented programmer, computer scientist. He started to think how to make this happen if all those modules will be autonomous, if they, they're connected to each other, sharing data for the special patented magnetic contacts. So we start this operation system, we made it from the scratch, absolutely. And if you want to make the games for this, because it's, again, it's absolutely different from the flat screen devices. If you have the, uh, you see the ball, you saw the ball, right? We have the uh, logical hole and both can go through it. It's impossible for the flat screen device. So you need to make your own uh, kind of gameplay and uh, you download our SDK software development kit and using it, using the emulator, you can you can make the applications for the cube. Now, how does the cube communicate to the phone to download apps? Uh, it's the easiest way to explain. It has Bluetooth modules. Okay, Bluetooth. Eight of them, eight of them actually. Uh, but the easiest way how to explain is if you have the Apple Watch is the same way. Uh, the Apple Watch connects to the phone, phone to the internet. Here's the same. Uh, the cube connects to your smartphone or to or your PC, to your computer, to your uh, laptop. It's also possible. That's really cool. That thing is really like it's incredible. <laughs> I can you. you have so much stuff packed into that cube with the LCDs and batteries and Bluetooth modules and speakers and stuff like that. Like, how are you able to fit everything in there? How much does it weigh? Uh, uh, let me, I, I remember in grams, uh, it's 11.8 ounces. Uh, in grams, because I'm, I'm originally from Russia, I'm in metric system, it's- a, Yeah, that's, I know, so, I'm sorry, so, I apologize. I know, we, we're a terrible country, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine, it's, it's fine. 300, 300 something, 330. Grams. It's not that heavy. It's it's actually the toy toy for the kids. So, so it's it's less. So for people watching out there, it's less than a pound in U.S. It's 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 a pound to sixteen ounces. This is you said eleven something like so. It's less. Uh, eleven point eight ounces. Yeah. So it's it's about twelve ounces, which is four ounces less than a pound. That's not very heavy. It, it, it it's it's not very heavy, of course. It, now, it's got twenty four screens though, so it's not like very light, but it's fine. Now, another question that I have is, you know, obviously this is this is for everybody, but if you give this to your kids, how durable is it if they drop it from six feet? Great, that's a perfect question. And I have the answer for you. Uh, first, everything can be broken, of course. We use the uh, tempered glass 
and it's pretty durable. If you drop it from one meter to your floor, nothing happened. Maybe it will go apart and you can assemble it again yourself. But in case to make it more, even more durable, we made these silicone pads, like the triangle silicone pads on each side. You can stick them and uh, they like the silicone. Uh, they can be different colors, even glowing in the dark. So it will make uh, this cube even more durable if you give it to your kids. For the, for the glass, uh, I, I took the hammer, put the glass on the uh, metal surface and try to hit it, not like this, but hit it rather, rather um, heavy and uh, they are not broken. The, right. uh, it's 7H, uh, the index is 7H for the glasses. Now it has. You, it says it has each one of the cubes has its individual speaker. Do you have? Uh, do you have a microphone on this device as well, or no? At, in this uh, particular model, that we are going to the market very soon, uh, we don't have any okay. microphones. The microphone, the microphone will be in the next one and in the charging dock station. While you can use it as a home assistant, and you put it to charge, uh, it turns to a home assistant, but not in this version. In in next version. I think that's that's you I mean I think it's such an interesting device because it has so many uses in the home you know not only just for entertainment and, and games or information but just breaking a piece off and giving one to your son as like a walkie-talkie or something you know I'll talk to you like I could just see that <laughs> well we need to consider that. this <laughs> we need to consider this. actually the normal usage of the cube is a standalone device without disassembly right uh, just uh, just operation with it operating with it like it, like you operate with a normal, uh, with a uh, Rubik's cube or something like right. this, standalone device. But yes, you're right uh, to take a part and like a watch stick. That's funny. It would be up to the people because you're giving engineers and designers a tool, and you're saying, "Hey, we have this really cool tool. Like, what can you make on this?" You know what I mean? Like, you're giving the, the opportunity to those people to get creative and figure out uses for your product, which is a really cool idea. Yeah, it can also be even like a musical box, a musical toy, then you, it's a question of the application. You make the create application and now make the sounds like wow, 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 boom, like this. Or it can be the um, controller for your uh, console if you play that. It's a matter of the uh, software and we have the software development kit. So the limit is the sky. You, you, can, you can make everything. For, for New Year, it will be Christmas tree with the deer and the snow around. And it, it has accelerometers, it has a G sensor. So uh, it, you can use all of those uh, sensors to make the software for the cube. How long does the battery last? Uh, we can say for five hours for sure. Theoretically, our calculations are up to eight hours, but five hours is enough. You won't play five hour <laughs> straight five hour and you, you you'll be tired anyway and uh, to charge it to, to the hundred percent took less than two hours it's fast charge that's crazy have you guys considered um the educational like uh options for this device like for schools and stuff like that for you know small children you know specifically teaching hand uh, eye coordination problem solving skills that kind of stuff uh, first of all, we have we already have we already get the Steam Org uh, authorization. So this is a device for education, educational device based on Steam Org. Uh, we have several concepts of the games that you need to add up numbers, the very simple numbers, or this crossword. This is collaboration of crossword and Rubik's cube. Then you teach um, words, uh, and of course. It's not working yet, but we implementing the MIT Scratch. If you know this program, MIT Scratch, this is the application that allows you to make it is called coding for kids. Very simple coding. Like you, you, you take the cat, put it on the screen, set three steps there, three steps there. And uh, you can work this MIT Scratch uh, to uh, code for the queue. We already working on this, and yes, this is one of the one of the way how to develop and where to develop. Probably the most important question is that it's this this cube does a lot and it has a lot of parts in it. What are you? Um, what's the MSVP retail on the cube? Uh, we're going to the market with 250, 249 in the well, beginning. That's not bad at all. 
for how much it uh, does it, and how it, popular it, it is, it, I really it, thought it, it would be like a five hundred dollar toy. You know what I mean? One of those things that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Especially considering this the screens. The most expensive thing here is the screens because not because the screen is expensive because we have uh, twenty four screens, twenty four separate screens, and yes, this is the headache actually. But yeah, we managed to make it two forty nine on a shelf. Uh, including everything in the box with the charging dock station with everything maybe even this kind of carry cases so you're making prototypes for peripherals and stuff yeah of course of course it, it's the complete set yeah so when um, you. when you plan to release what, what you call this like version 1.0 what are you calling this exactly wow no, we call, no no we didn't we didn't call it yet uh, it's just for wow cube just while keep okay. Say, 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 say while well, keep yes, version one point <laughs> Okay, because you mentioned the other ones, you're 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 pondering the idea of adding different things, uh, like a microphone to the next version you 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 create. That's why I was just wondering, maybe to be wow wow cube plus or something. I don't. Know. Mm, yeah, uh, we also make uh, we also thinking to make the uh, bigger version of the cube a little bit bigger version because what I have here is that this is the first prototype. <laughs> That's See, crazy. How big? How big is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I, Arduino. I read that it's a, the father-son team. The son did a lot of three D printing, and his father did yes. all the coding and stuff like that. It, it's it, it's exactly that. It, it, it's exactly that cube. And we're also thinking about making the uh, cheaper version because this is the very high resolution IPS screens with a very thick glass, rounded two point two point five D. If you know what I mean, uh, the gr glass. So it's a solid piece of. Uh, glass and plastic. Uh, we're also considering to make the some someday maybe cheaper version with the plastic glasses, but it, it just plans now. We we go into the market uh, in 2021 in the second quarter of 2021 very soon uh, with the 250 and with this uh, particular device. Now, if I'm a if I'm a game designer or an app developer, how do I program for your cube do you have a develop do you have a dev kit that i can get do I re how, how does that work yes uh we have the software development kit you can go to our website and there will be special it, it's it's already there the special uh part for developers you press you you put your email and our development team will connect you will, will reach you and you can uh discuss the uh, details it's before the go to market. And once we go to market, the develop, software development kit will be available for everyone. Just go there, download, play with your cube. Uh, by the way, we have the, another uh, way how you can operate with the cube. We call it projector mode. Then all the calculations you made the, on the other device, like on a smartphone or notebook, and it used the cube as a 24 screens just the, all the calculations in your device and you use this just like the projector just like the additional screens for example we have it's already working then you you can uh you can show uh, google street view panoramas on the cube uh you know that there are lots of them available all, all over the world even under the sea or even on the on the mark from the mars uh the 3d panoramas you can Press one button, you would see here, and this is like the globe in your hands. You see the fully tangible panorama of the, I don't know, what is the outside. So, so yeah. it's, of, it's the, the limit is just your imagination, basically what you're telling uh, me, whatever. <laughs> absolutely, the limit is this kind. Any, any ideas you can implement, you can you can run on the cube and yeah. Well, that's great, Max. So you said you're, uh, the, you're aiming for a, a 250 price point and then you're going to come out, you said in March sometime, you're aiming for, for that? Well, I know it's March, hard because COVID every, manufacturing every, and distribution is uh, a mess right it, now. So, you know, we, we had, pl we had planned to go to the market in the end of 2020 actually, but that would, uh, terrible COVID situation that slows down us significantly. Now it's quite difficult to make predictions, but it would definitely be in the second quarter of 2021. Everything is ready. We're just uh, finalizing some tests. And then Max, where can, where can people go to find out more information about WowCube? www.wowcube.com. Everything you need, you can find there.